gonna build a dam right over there. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to make a hydro dam up there in the river. So first I'm going to use this water pipe to make a turbine. I reduce the pipe to smaller but even pieces. So I managed to cut five of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one aside and I'm going to cut the other ones in half to make some flippers. So now we need to get the length of this pipe and do a few basic mathematics to determine where the flippers are going to be attached. I then got a piece of paper around the remaining cylinder. Then I measured out the length and divided it by the number of flippers I'm going to use. Which gave me the distance between each of the flippers, which I marked out on the thin piece of paper. And stick the piece of paper on the cylinder to help guide the draw. I'm going to mark out some holes in the center of the flipper right here at the edge and drill it out. So just around here. I'm going to use these little screws to put through the flipper like that and then through the pipe like so and tie it down with this little nut. Like that. Seven more to go. So the sun is just going down. So we're gonna finish off this little, what's this called again? Turbine. We're gonna finish off this little turbine tomorrow. So welcome back. So today I'm gonna cut some wooden dust that's going to go in the center of the top and bottom of this turbine to connect a soft through. I traced the pipe diameter on a piece of shutter ply, jigged it out, drilled a center hole and gave it some paint. I added a bit of silicone around the wooden discs, got it on the turbine and added a few screws to keep it in place and got the soft through to finish it off. So with our turbine finally complete, I'm going to use this container to help funnel water in, around and out of the turbine. I marked out a few lines about the same height as the turbine, connected the dots and cut. Then, drilled a center hole for the turbine to go through. After that, I cut a few pipes at an angle and sanded them. So not as plus as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. When I glue this together with some silicone, it will fill in the gaps. I drilled two holes in the side of the bucket. Mixed together some epoxy to anchor the pipes to the container. And later fill the gaps with some silicone. While that silicone is drying, I'm going to cut out a wooden frame that is gonna go over the bucket and hold the motor. I traced the dimensions of the bucket onto a piece of shutter ply and another circle to hold the motor and made an outline of 1 cm and checked it out. Then removed the larger circle and got it over the bucket to check if it fits, at which point I snapped one of the pipes off, which I had to fix. It's fine. That's much better. So the part that is actually going to generate electricity is going to be this little wiper motor. So I'm gonna drill a hole out here and mount the motor. So minor setback, it just started raining, but it's fine. I just move everything from over there to here. So let's just get this back on again. There's kind of a lot of wiggle room, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drill out a hole over here, get a screw through that, and lock it in place. And that's going nowhere. 
but I'm afraid it's gonna jiggle around over here. So we will need something to secure it a little bit better. So I drilled a hole in a piece of scrap wood, added a few screw holes and made some holes and added some curves to make it look good. Afterwards, I cut two wooden wheels and filed a groove in each of them. So the way this thing is going to generate electricity, I'm just gonna put this wheel over here, the smaller one on the motor, and wrap this elastic tube around both of them. So when water is coming in this way, it's gonna turn the turbine, which is gonna turn this wheel, which in turn is gonna turn this motor, which is going to generate electricity. But before we bolt everything together, I'm just gonna take everything apart and give it some color. So I'm gonna build a dam right over there. It's close to where the bird houses are and where my cabin burned down. I picked a spot to place the pipe that is going to couple to the turbine and secured it with some rocks, dirt. and a log. voltage we are getting not even a single volt we need to do something about that so to get more power out of our turbine here's what we're going to do I drilled an extra hole in the side of the container hopefully with less water to push against the turbine should move much faster I then stick these two extra wheels together with a spacer in the center and left them to dry then Cut off a piece of metal and place it next to the turbine. Got the other wheel on and fitted some of the tube around the turbine and to the lower wheel, which will give the motor some extra turns, which should result in more power. I gave it a little test to see how much voltage we'll be getting, which wasn't even close to a single volt, even when I stick the smaller wheel on the motor. So I swiped out the wiper motor with the smaller but more efficient one, which gave me a much better result, even jumping up to 3 volt. So I made a new base for the new motor, gave everything a good lick of paint, put everything back together and got back to the dam. So let's check how much we're getting this time around. Not bad. I ran 2.5 volts. Let me show you what we can do with that. We can use it to power a fan. A bunch of these Christmas lights. Oh, what about your Iron Man gear? A smarter way to use this device is to hook some batteries up to it, let them charge, which will allow you to more consistently power other stuff, like this little watermill house, this cordless drawer, and of course little baby wally. So that's gonna do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.